Absolutely, Matt. We're glad you're keeping an eye on it. And right now, the town of Manitou Springs is picking up after a deadly flash flood overnight. 53-year-old John Collins of Teller County died in that mudslide that barreled down Highway 24 near Manitou Springs. Part of that highway is still washed out. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sublon is live in Manitou. Lindsay, three others still missing. Teresa, crews are still looking for two men and a woman, and that woman was last seen clinging to a tree last night. Meanwhile, we have had rain following, falling steadily, just little drizzles the last hour, hour and 15 now, so people are very nervous here. This is what the hardest hit areas look like. You can see how puddles are starting to form. People are still cleaning up. Debris laying everywhere. This is all the stuff that was carried down from the Waldo Canyon burn scar all the way through the town of Manitou. Springs. Shops on the main strip downtown spent the entire day cleaning. This is the basement of Quackers Gift Shop on Manitou Avenue. The owner tells me they had five feet of mud inside the basement last night. In the back of their shop overlooks Fountain Creek, which rose 12 feet after the heavy rainfall. Cars were stacked up on each other and mud piled everywhere. Homes on Canyon Avenue were also destroyed. This is the exact same area that was hit in early July. You can see where boulders are piled up and what used to be drainages. Despite all the devastation, the town is pulling together. And then when I went downstairs and I saw the mud, the dirt, there's pine needles. Half of Waldo Canyon seems like is is in my lower level. <laughs> it's it's tough, but everybody is resilient. They may be resilient, but they can only take so much. As we've been seeing this rain, hearing thunder and seeing lightning, a woman just came up to, to me and told me this staircase is the quickest way to get out of here. They're worried for our safety. They're worried for their own safety. So people here on edge as the weather continues to look a little iffy down here. Live in Manitou Springs, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. All right, be careful, Lindsay. Remember you.